What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Was It Good Though podcast, where we discuss, debate, and sometimes argue on movies and TV shows, old and new. I am one of your hosts. My name is Jazz. And I am Jason. A few house rules before we get into this review. One, please have fun. Two, please like, share, subscribe. Let your people know, let your friends know what we are doing over here at the Was It Good Though. Number three, we will be spoiling this review. So if you haven't seen it, stop here and come back after you've seen it. And last and not least, and certainly not least, this is not a kid podcast in any way, shape, form, or fashion. So if you want to listen with your children, that is on you. That is not on us. I am here to let you know. Please stop or continue. Let's get to this review. This is true. Uh, yeah. Predestined for real. This is how you feeling? Show the shrug. Show the shrug. Two Marvel projects in one day. I feel marvelous. Oh, you know, I'm feeling low key marvelous myself. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. Ah, oh, man. But, man. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, it's, we're here. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't even know what to say right now. You know still what I'm processing. saying? I'm still processing, man. It's, it's Thursday. Just going to let, let you guys know it's Thursday night. Yeah. Um, um, Loki has been watched. We are complete. The destiny fulfilled. Um, the Marvels have been watched. Mm. Destiny, the, the, the <laughs> destiny has been fulfilled. That's how you end MCU this year. Like, I think there's three bangers back to back. If I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, No Way Home, Four. Black Panther. What was before that? What was before No Way Home? Oh, are you talking about from there to where we at now? I'm just thinking of how the years ended in the in mo most recent years. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Yeah, uh, I can't. I, I can't remember what was before No Way Home, but we had No Way Home, um, Black Panther Forever last year, and now we got the Marvel. So I think, yeah, yeah. Um, stop fucking playing with them. <laughs> stop, <laughs> stop fucking playing with them. I, I, I was doing all this motherfucking yapping and yippity yippy yippy yap yap before this shit dropped. Stop fucking playing with them. Yes. Yes. Well, first, welcome to the Was It Good Though podcast, <laughs> where we discuss and, you know, pod about movies and TV shows. Uh, we are discussing Loki. Yes, the feelings are high right now. Um, ooh, we're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it, Jason. Um, as a whole, these past six weeks. Emotional. Like roller coaster. You, okay, okay. I, I'm liking these words. Give me more. In, uh, in, impactful. Okay. Game changer. Like oh yeah. I mean, we're getting Loki labeled as like the savior of Marvel right now. Literally. That's like <laughs> figuratively. Yes. Emotionally. This is one of the uh best projects that they've had in a in a while. Well. Not, it's the best. Not it's, while. it's easily the best TV show. Oh uh, yeah, hands down. But, there should but, be no debate. But so, but as far as the emotional, so like, so I'm gonna be. I don't. I want to be fair when I say that because I think Black Panther was one. I think we know what that was for us as a black as a black community. But I also think because of the loss of the star of that film, we know how that was going to hit. So. I'm like I'm trying to I'm trying to judge it fairly, which I do still feel like that is a very good movie to me. I do feel like it is still good. Um, I feel like No Way No Way Home Spider Man, damn good movie. Um, I do think the last hour of that movie is probably the, one of the most perfect hours of TV or movies I've seen, especially in more or in most recent years. Um, but as we think about since Endgame, I think Loki is the one. Like since Endgame, I, I would personally put Loki as the best project that has come from Marvel since then, and that's just, that's my personal opinion. And I and 
it can be a recency bias because I literally just got done watching it. <laughs> but my feelings really don't change about stuff like that, personally. Um, the writers, like, kudos to them. Um, but, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm saying, like, a 10 out of 10 right Easy. now. And I'm going to say I've... I'm not going to say how many times I've seen it already. Now, we're recording the night that it dropped. <laughs> it dropped yesterday, y'all. So, it's like, damn, Jazz, how many times? It don't matter. But just know, the emotions hit every time. Like, the spot, it was hit each time. It was just, like, gloriousness. So me, but, like... Let me, let me ask you just about... Since, 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 if, you know, if, if you've never been with the Was It Good Though podcast, um, our day of reviews more so like open discussion so we're gonna be jumping around the episode different thoughts different feelings and like i said these are like just live reaction ain't no notes really um when it comes to this so you remember two years ago when loki came out um we was up all us up at night watching the finale and we were just like bruh did you just fucking <laughs> see that like that was so far left from what the fuck we thought we was gonna get in TV. So, like, when you get this finale, like, what's the expectations that, that you know, that you're having in this? And did anything that you thought, because I, I know I was wrong in a lot of different things, which I'm, I, I'm perfectly okay with that, because they subverted the expectation. They exceeded <laughs> what I thought was going to happen. And they definitely put me in a situation where I'm just kind of fucked up at this point. Um, but we'll get deeper into that. But um, let me let me ask you off rip real quick. Did you cry? No, so this is the third time tonight that I've been asked this. No, I have not cried. It's a solid question, Jason. <laughs> I'm sick of this. That's three times I've been asked this. No, <laughs> I mean it has to be asked. But I enjoyed the season finale of season one. This what we got tonight. The way that this episode, the feelings that I had at the start were the complete opposite at the end. Like this entire episode puts you through an emotional roller coaster. You're laughing, having a good time. You like, oh, okay, so we seeing some repeats. And then you get a shift of, oh, so there's no way we can fix this. And then you start to get deeper and you start to get more dialogue and you start to get more backstory from our characters. And it gets serious. I was I was shocked at the end of this. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. And I was, was not expecting anything that we got except for maybe uh, them trying to find a scenario and then they have to repeat it. But everything after that, no clue. I mean, I thought Loki was really going to get himself out of here. Well, <laughs> excuse me, Sylvie. Let me be more on that side because we see how that ended. So, but Yeah, 17 minutes into the episode, I'm like, this shit ain't going to, you can't fix it like this. You got to go back and kill Loki. You got to go back and kill Sylvie. Next immediate scene, he would hear him. I said, oh, shit. Like, what is he going to choose? Like, what would you have chose? Well, if that, If that was up to you. She's out of here. <laughs> Bye. Because it's your fault. Because when they were just sitting there and they realized they're going to get the same outcome, there's nothing that they can do. And then even Sylvie was like, oh, all oh, this happened when the timelines shifted, aka when I killed he who remains. It's my fault, y'all. I'm the reason why we're here. She didn't say that. I wish she would have. And then mm -hmm. it goes back to her attacking he who remains. And I was like, yes. Is she going to take accountability? No, we didn't get that. She went deeper down a rabbit hole. And I got to ask you, what the hell was she talking about in that scene? Because I didn't... Which one? Could, when she was talking to Loki um, towards the end when they had their last conversation. She was Episode just like... Five. I, Episode 5. No, well, they, th that, this episode. I mean, I mean, I mean. So within this episode, when he went back to episode five, when there was in that room, yes. everybody was he he paused. Uh, no, not when he was speaking. To he who remains. No, no, when I mean, he, he, no. When he was just speaking to her. He paused everything, and he was just talking to her to ask her what he should do. 
Is that right. conversation you're talking yes. about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. that conversation. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know what she was talking about at all. But um. it sounded like it was deep. And I wish I would have <laughs> been able to catch it. But I, I caught everybody else's, so... Um, so within this conversation, you know, he was pretty much asking her, um, what should they do? Like, what should he do? Cause he knows how to, he knows it's not going to stop it no matter what they do, how many times they do it, try to change it. Um, and she pretty much was telling him to fight. Like she was telling him to go ahead and kill him or change. Cause you know, he, he could have changed the, the, the calculation and that would have messed it up, but that would have allowed all the kings to come in to do that that battle again. So she was telling him to stand, basically stand with her and fight for it. But he chose the option that you know they they wouldn't. Um, I guess nobody seen coming. Um, at some point I thought like he has to go out there to do it, but I thought he would just have to go in the suit and be the one in the suit to go out and do it. But he fucking. He finally got his he got his God level, bro. Like this has been like this been shaping up since 2012. Right. Jesus. <laughs> but that first scene, the montage. How did you feel about that? It was fun. It, it was a good time seeing the different outcomes. Like, how did you feel about that scene? Um, it was funny. Like, is he, I mean, you're in the um Cause he kind of did what Obi did in the previous episode, when he had to go back. We had to learn how to, like, the basically the TVA, the, the TVA book handbook to fix the actual problem. So that was fun. Um, listening to like, did you know there was Beethoven that was playing? No, I didn't. I definitely thought there was like an R B R and B seventies or eighty song, like just like without the words. I'm like, damn, what the hell is this? Beethoven. Okay, then he might be black. That, you know, they, you remember that joke they were running with for a long time? Like, no, but did you Shazam the song? Every time. Every time I hear a song, I, sh- I Shazam it. It's okay. like, I said, Beethoven. I wouldn't have expected this to come from him, but damn, okay. I see. I get why we respect you in the music world, but I enjoyed that the montage of them going back and forth. But Lucky, it was just like, bro, Lucky was a little bit annoying, but it was just like he was trying to fix it. Like he was just doing anything he could to try to figure it out. Right. I thought it was funny because he was just remembering every scenario that happened. Mm-hmm. He was like, don't let it roll off. <laughs> Casey, snap the helmet. Snap it so you see that he's done this so many times. So I thought that was funny. And then it was just, it seemed like when Timely got out there, I was like, oh, he about to die. Mm-hmm. And then he made it further. And then Loki's like, push the green button. He pushed it. Then it seemed like he was hesitant, like he was about to die. And I said, oh, he out of here right now. Mm-hmm. And then Loki said, push the button. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to push the button. Pushes the button. And then he made it out. I was just like, okay, we got some positive energy happening. Nobody died. And then we see none of that. It was like peace for all of like what two minutes, two minutes. But yeah, man, I I was just like, dang, I mm. thought that was dope. It was, it was, but I am still sad because with this route, um, I can see where, well, I can see where the rumors could be true. So I'm curious in the direction of where Marvel is going at this point, because if Loki was willing to sacrifice himself to sit on a throne at the end of time or to to weave the timelines together, where does Kane come in in all that? Yeah, that kind of wraps that. That kind of wraps his. That kind of wraps his storyline up if they want to. So I'm curious as to which way it's going um now the marbles kind of helps you understand it it could be different but we'll get deeper into that in the actual marbles episode dropping on tuesday yeah but i was thinking about that i was just like okay the the aspect of him getting the book never happened 
Yes, yes. They made sure you understood. Made sure you you got that. And then Rensselaer, she's at the end of time, right? I don't know where she was at because wherever she was, it had like a pyramid in the back. Isn't I don't it, remember. That like, was that's when um remember season one when they pruned Loki now. Uh, where they was with yeah. Elioth in the top, she went there. Right. The same exact same exact place that she seen the little tunnel that they was inside of hanging out or well, hiding from the the thing. Okay. Cause I w- cause I figured that's where she went, but looking at the area, I was like, I don't know what the hell this is. Yeah, yeah. But I'm curious, like who rolled up on her? Uh, cause I mean, she ain't flinch. She a thug though. Oh, it was Elias. Was it? I thought he was dead. I don't. Th- they. I don't think they killed him. They just went through him. Like they went through him. I don't. They didn't kill him though. <laughs> oh. But you remember. Damn. But you remember. She's the one. <laughs> She, I think she, I believe she was able to tame it. So it could be a situation where she becomes the big bad. But that's just, that's me theorizing in this because it was a situation where in the comic, Kane goes away and then she takes over. And there's one she pretends to be Kane. But remember, she's the, in, um, and I think they kind of allude to it when we get the conversation, which was every conversation within this was fucking beautiful and how they wrote it, how they talked about it. But the conversation between Mobius and Loki from when he time skips back to episode one yeah. of season one, you know, we find out about a variant that causes, you know, 5,000 deaths, but they have to have somebody to go back there to, um, to do the pro to do the prune, do the pruning. And we find out he couldn't do it because it was a kid, but Renslayer did. So I feel like that was kind of alluding to like Renslayer do what other people won't do. And he who remains also needed her to run that run that war team to help lead him to victory over the Kings. So I can see it, I can see that adjustment. And I wouldn't be mad at her being it, but I can see it. That's all I'm saying. Right. No, that makes sense. But then also like Goliath. Or what? What was it say? Was it? I think it's it's a it's just Elias. Elias, Elias would be familiar with who she is because she worked closely with Kane. Mm-hmm. So if that's if that was who rode up on her, that's probably why she didn't wasn't looking scared. She was just looking like, "What's up? What you need? I ain't got no <laughs> money on me." But now nah, you make a, a very good point because when I was looking at, it, I was just like. All right, so he who remains gone out of here, and then you have timely never became, I guess that smart engineer that he was supposed to be, but now I'm just but Loki at the top. I'm I just I don't know. I'm curious, but they also referenced um the Kang that died in Ant Man, I believe. Because at the end, when they were talking about uh, that they had a Kang uh, sighting, they was just like, oh, uh, 616 adjacent realm, which I'm not exactly sure if that's the realm our main people live on. It is. That's the, uh, that's the main timeline, 616, that we've been, the sacred timeline. But, that's what that but is. It, is it 616 adjacent? Who? That, the, the main timeline that we've always been on. Because that's what they called it. That's what Mobius called it. Um, he was like six one six adjacent timeline. Um, I guess it's the one that's gonna be the closest. Um, if anything, it's just gonna be the one that's gonna be closest to the original that we have. But now I don't know as far as anything beyond that. I I couldn't answer that, that question. But that sounds like two different timelines. It has to be if it's if it's adjacent. It, it has to be a different. It couldn't be the same. So that's the total. That's another king. That might not be the Kang from Ant Man. It, it probably ain't. That means they don't know about the Kang from Ant Man. But they how can't. would they know? They, they, nobody knows about him except Ant Man and his boo, Janet. <laughs> that means it's a Kang out there causing havoc and we don't know where they at. Well, we know where they at, but we ain't seen them yet. Because mm. he did tell them his variants are out there. Okay, so he did tell them that his variants yeah. are already outside, are already out there. So, but I, I don't, I don't know how we'll get 
a season three? Because I don't know. I mean, with Loki being stuck with I don't think we're going to get a his... season three. I don't think we're going to get a season three. I'd be very shocked. I'm not saying that I don't want a season three, but I think Loki might be done. <sighs> Man, well, um, at least that he think went, so? At least he went out on his glorious purpose. <laughs> if so. I saw that title it. and I said, oh, this about to be some heat. He gonna die. Like that's what I was thinking. Like, oh man, he's gonna die. And because <laughs> it had Mobius like, on the thinking. artwork. I said, don't let Jason be right. Man, I don't know. I don't Not know. Not Mobius. <laughs> he's my old girl from the Matrix. Not like this. Not like this. You know what I'm talking about? Uh uh-uh. uh. Who you talking about? The one with the blonde that was in the white the, the first Matrix. Okay. Got you. That was like an all white. First dude got his thing pulled out. And she was just looking up <laughs> and uh, uh, Keanu Reeves Bay. She was just like, not like this. Trini. There's, wait, Trini. Trinity. 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 Yes. Trinity. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying it was one of the two. Mm-hmm. Um, man. Um, what else? Uh, what do you think about that? the conversation between? He who remains and Loki. Because we got a lot of dialogue between our characters. I feel like everybody was putting Loki on game because he had his conversation with he who remains. He had it with so uh Sylvie. He had it with Mobius. He just didn't have it with um B5, B15. I mean, yeah, B well, he, he didn't have it with OB neither, right? Well, I guess the one he when he was learning the different stuff. Um, when he did a little speed run and how it had to work, because he, he was like, nah, you got to go not not early, not er, faster, but earlier. So we started jumping back through time. Let me go back. Yeah. He was getting bars from everybody else. But um, yeah, like when he was having that conversation, trying to stop Sylvie from killing him, I was just looking at Jonathan Major's body movements in this scene. Not on no less level, but just like him as an actor. I can see why they are not going to replace him to where they just have to write his entire character off. Because can you imagine finding another actor to replace him after seeing his mannerisms in this role? Yeah, now he would. that would have been a hard sell uh, with anybody trying to come behind it. I wouldn't want to try to fill in those shoes, personally. Absolutely not. But what you think about like this conversation? Um, I mean the conversation. I mean, is, I guess is the the deleted scenes version of what we didn't get in the first season. Um, him being is able it to though? have it's not. I'm just that was my joke. Stepping on it, you see, you say he did that exactly. But yeah, it's like I mean, it's just like um, I think it's the conversation that they needed to have because then they was able to do what they um not they were able to do. But you just seen just how much more he's advanced over time. Um as a person, human, just through however long it's been. Cause like I don't know, man. That was it was that it was a conversation. It was a conversation. Cause he was trying to um he was trying to figure it out and he was just giving him all different things. He was like, What like what you think I was gonna do? Just allow her to kill me like that? Yeah. Hey, look. Who you think I am? Like, come on. He said, what did Victor tell you? Yo, why was he coming to his variant like that? I was like, damn. He seemed like such a bully. He didn't seem like a bully in last season. I mean, as someone who won a multiversal war, he had to be something. I mean, I get that, but coming at your variant, talking about he told you it was a what? Like, like Victor was lying, but could have been, because when we met Victor, he was hustling. But, like, this exchange to me, I thought was, I was like, wow. Enjoyed it a lot, because it humbled Loki, or actually, it's been situations where Loki's been humbled so many times, but he's just, like, realizing I've lost. There's nothing that I can do. 
And so he who remains is just like, you got to figure this whole thing out. And so he was like, just do this a, a thousand more times and come back. And then Loki's like, well, how you know we haven't had this conversation before? So I enjoyed that tit for tat there. Do you think he had been there before and had that conversation, or was it just like a a chess match? I think he's been there before. Mm-hmm. But then again, I don't know. I he seemed was, shocked. I think it was a chess match. Like he was just like, you know, I mean, like they um like playing each other just to see what the other person know or what the other person can do in that. Were you uh, shocked when he said he paved the way for Loki to get as far as he got? No, I felt like that's what, like, it was everything was what he did. Like, he knew, like, I guess, I don't know if it was inevitable. Because, like, what would would be the purpose outside of freeing himself in that situation? Like, but why would he need to free himself, I guess? That's the only thing, like. I don't know. Who, he, he who remains? Yeah. Like, what would be his purpose in setting him up to go and kill him? Like, unless it was just like an inevitable, this is what's going to happen, but if it does happen, I'm going to set up this new this new game or new timeline or whatever he was doing in that situation. I mean, I guess it was one of those things where it's just like, I need to make sure somebody is here to take my spot and Loki had to go through everything that he went through to be able to sacrifice to be in that spot to where he may basically set it up to where I have to die so Loki can go through all of this to take this spot to where we don't have that multiversal war but what would be his, but I'm saying I guess within that what was his purpose like what was his point though you know what I mean like so he who remains yeah like he was done he, he was ready to retire permanently um I can see, but I mean, but it's still going to have to bring him inevitably, 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 <laughs> inevitably, and back to him. So, like, what would be the purpose? Like, he was like, so you can, you can kill her. Let me just stay right here, or you can go and do it yourself. Like, but I mean, because that that was the offer he gave him anyway. Like, you can run it, so inevitably he had to do it, but by himself, not even with nobody. So, damn, he ended up alone. <laughs> Well, no, he they the offer was that they could be together. They could run the TVA together. That's my point. He at least he had a chance to do it with somebody. Now he's doing it by himself. Yeah, he should have did that shit last season. <laughs> if he was going to end up where he is right now, last season definitely would have been better. But, I mean, he had to go through all of this to be more mature and more powerful. Loki was not this powerful last season. Hell, Loki wasn't this powerful two episodes ago. Man, so what? Do you, so what do you what? So, damn. So if he's there, I mean, he can't go nowhere else, right? So I'm curious how that works, because I know you said you probably would wouldn't mind being being in that job if you didn't have to stay in that castle. Mm-hmm. But maybe he has to stay in that castle, or Loki. He made a whole golden chair for himself. Man, he finally got that. He's been talking about that chair since the beginning. Sitting on the throne, getting his throne, rightful throne. No family, no friends. Damn. No music. He's just That's... watching people. He's a watcher. I, How does I, that work? <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> do they talk to each other? They shit. I don't know what like what they, and the whole thing is just to keep this keep this one man contained. Well, infinite um, uh, the infinite amount of him contained. Man, I just hope it's ain't the end of him though. Seriously though. Yeah, because yeah, that that would be rough. But man, um. So you had that the conversation with him. Uh, so I guess with the Mobius conversation. Um, because he went to him to ask what should he do. He was pretty much asking the whole crew, 
what do you think we should like how what how do you think we should handle it like what should i do how did you how did you do this um and then so what did you think about you know um the conversation Moby's gave to him i mean it was facts and all of these conversations alluded to him going to kill sylvie he was like you have to look at the bigger picture instead mm -hmm. of just that one thing which loki knew he had to kill her but he was just like no let's find another way love almost got everything destroyed but i was shocked at this story i was just like damn but it was it was a dope connection though to realize like what the connection between him and renslayer and their history mm -hmm. i thought that was dope but um yeah this i was like all right loki so just go stab her just go pull a john snow on a daenerys that's all you had to do oh man that's what you wanted to happen I knew that wasn't gonna happen, but I was rooting for it. Damn, it's really crazy. It's it. it's almost like <clears throat> see, okay, so now I'm gonna complain. So the one complaint I had with episode five was when they went back to beat Hunter B15, she was in 2012, right? She was she was in 2012 around that time, and I felt like it was a, a missed opportunity because that was when Loki had first made it to Earth. So like I felt like at least 115 was like, oh my God, that's you, the dude from the news. Something, you know what I'm saying? Like something, a nod, a conversation. So imagine how much more harder this hits if we seen Loki facing, you know, 2012, like facing the shit that he did in 2012, him becoming a better person, just like, oh my God, look at the the, the terror, the people I've killed, the stuff I caused, the X to XYZ, boo, boo, boo that he was willing to sacrifice the rest of his life to set to save the people um of the timelines of their time respective timelines to allow Sylvie who didn't who, who's never seen peace to keep her peace in that situation like all oh, this shit would have just it would have just been that much it would have hit that much harder um in that scene so I do think that was a missed opportunity to, for uh, that would have been a super a great Lay alley oop for a, a super slam dunk, um, in the end, right then. Yeah, that definitely would have been dope. But what would you have done if I was who Loki? Loki? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like Billy. Yeah, I would have been Billy Loomis around that thing. <laughs> They were like, "Do you talking about gut like a fish?" That's another callback. We bring it back in the end. <laughs> Yeah, I got her. I got up out of here. <laughs> it's fine. You live your life, my boy. We finna go live. We finna go live it up. Yeah, um, she would have got stabbed. Man. But he risked his life. I had the the conversation and the scene uh between Loki and um oh Morbius. When he was reacting, it's like they were going back and forth with the camera shots to where you would have like a close up of Mobius and then you have a close up to Loki. And it's just like their face and you could just see the emotions in it. Like I love the camera angles and everything mm -hmm. in this series, in this episode. And we got another episode to where it wasn't too much action, mm -hmm. more so dialogue, mm -hmm. kind of how it last season ended. And I appreciated that. Because I enjoy how Loki ended last year. And I was just like, they probably going to try to give us some action to end this. And they mm -hmm. didn't. So let me ask you, between the two episode sixes, which one would you like, which one did you like more? Hmm. So because I like completeness, <laughs> I'm going to go with this one. Like, the last one kind of, like, left a lot of shit open, you know, allows you to to speculate what's going to happen next. This, that. this right here kind of is, like, a really, like, gift wrap. Um, they let, you know, it's like, but you have, like, I think a, per a perfect ending 
is one that closes stories but also leaves things open if they want to explore it at another time. Um, so I do I do like that. Uh, what about you? I must say this one because it was just the emotions that I felt. I was having a good time at the beginning and then I was sad at the end. I'm like, y'all could go to hell. <laughs> like, why am I feeling this way? <laughs> but it was just so good to where I literally was like, all right, well, we're reviewing this. Let me run it back. Ran the whole thing back and just was looking at the script, the dialogue, the acting, like the story, how it was going, the pacing of the episode. It was all around like perfect. 10 out of 10. The, I think the big, the most important one, like I said, was well, probably the world to conversation you had with Mobius. Because um, he kept on, you know, talking about the glorious purpose and these different things. And he was like, most purpose is more bur more burden than glory. And you don't want to be the one who had to live with it. Um, and then he asked him, how does he live with it? He was like, shit, scar tissues. And that's just, that's basically a wound that's healed. Like, Oh, you know, over time. So it's yeah, oh, sh this shit crazy. Um and somebody texted me and it was like, now we know why the time stone is green. And I was like, hmm, that'd be crazy if if so, but I mean it makes sense. That'd be fire. Ooh. I mean, do you think we're gonna get Loki back? I don't mean like another season, but just like that's what I'm it's saying. Scary. I don't I don't I don't know how that works where he is. Like, can he leave from there and just be kicking it? Like, I feel like he's stuck in that chair. Like, like you <laughs> said, like I'm like a but he he made a nice little nice little tree, tree of life. He got buds and things on top of it, those little, little flowers and whatnot. I was gonna say, like that it was when you see it, the timelines are the roots to that mm -hmm. tree. Mm -hmm. And then the TVA's, excuse me, <clears throat> the TVA's new logo is a tree. And it's like the timelines are coming together. And it's, um, I feel like I wrote the logo down. Um, nope. I thought I did. But grow, uh, Grows Together was like mm. their new logo to where you don't destroy timelines, you just grow with them, which is kind of what Kang's goal was before his variants went crazy to where they help each other and they grow mm -hmm. so I thought that was pretty dope yeah man I don't know like I said with this one here I don't know where where the story is going can go about to go any of this I I'm I, I'm not gonna I'm, I'm yeah that's 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 it that. That's it, man. <laughs> How you feel about Mobius quitting and going on the uh secret sacred timeline? Yeah, we definitely gotta go. So did he did he go to the sacred timeline? He went to go see his life. Where hmm. his uh his self was with the kids. Yeah, I'm saying I know, but that was like I feel like they but so when they when they went back to those little like when they went to them time all of them was Brent's timelines. The only sacred timeline was where he who remains was as a kid. They oh, went okay. to like Brent's timeline. So I don't know. Uh you think he gonna well I enjoy he said he wanna he wanna wanna spend some what he say, waste some time. Um yeah. he, he uh what do he say? Oh, he wanna allow time to pass by. Because where well, they was at, they didn't really have, um, they didn't really have time. Well, time wasn't crazy. really passing by. Was it? He said out there for like five minutes to have a heart attack. <laughs> Yo, that's <laughs> that'd be crazy. Why, like... why, why you get a man a heart attack? <laughs> I'm just saying, like your heart was good when you was in the TVA. You come down to Earth and that pollution boys get you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that would be a horrible way to go. You've been living your life for so long, then like boom, that's it. Like it's it's over with. Do you think like Loki risked so much for Sylvie? She won't she won't worth it. <laughs> like, she won't every worth it. Every time every time you saw her, she argued with you. You risk it your whole life for that? That's I, crazy. 
I... Okay. So we may not get our Loki, but we may get Sylvie as the one that moves forward in the with the, oh. with, the with the crew. God, I hope not. Yeah, I'll be so mad. I'll be like, man, no, get her out of here. She is not gonna roll with Captain Marvel and uh Monica Rambo. Like, nah. They're replacing, they're replacing all the old people, all the uh the OGs. Um, what I feel to say in uh OB, like he made a new a new second edition to the TVA book, didn't he? Mm hmm I wonder, yeah. I mean, well, I guess that that was his. I guess they gave everybody their glorious purpose at the end, right? Maybe, maybe that, maybe that's what it meant—a glorious purpose for everybody. Because Hunter B fifteen wasn't a hundred no more. She in the war room running shit at yeah. this point. Um, Ob he wanted to be an established author, writer, whatnot. That's what he got. I don't know what Casey went. So <laughs> wait, <laughs> I, I just caught that Casey didn't get a story. Yo, that's fucked up. I mean, he was a he was he he. I mean, he was a part nah. of he was a part of everything. So, I mean, but I guess realistically, we don't know what Casey does in his free time. <laughs> read the read the TVA book. We don't need to see that because we see it from Ob. Now, if we would have uh, saw him like in his little pod listening to the headphones that he was listening to in episode one of this season, mm -hmm. which was the same that I think were the same. Um, like music audio that Moon Knight was listening to. That, that's 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 yeah. They I think they they confirmed that. That would have been fire. But yeah, that's Casey deserved a story. And I also want to let you know because you always say you can't stand when movies tell you what happened with the characters after everything. Mm. That's exactly what we got when it said after <laughs> so <laughs> i was like i'm gonna call jason out because he's like I, I don't care what motherfuckers is doing after this and i'm like well you got one i bet you enjoyed it so it's not fair because now what i said is when they write a book and they like show us you know like on like coach carter it ends it was like and it's like jason is now in college he's doing well his he has a family with three kids like I, let me see it as far as in that Jazz is working in TV, no kids, living well ish. <laughs> <laughs> and the ish is broken. Like it, it's it's lit. <laughs> it's on his last leg. <laughs> <laughs> man. But yeah, man, I that was that was amazing TV. Like that's that's so you had the fall of the House of Usher. Does, 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 this, does this top that for you? Wait, wait, wait. I wouldn't put them in the same category because I would say the fall of the House of the Usher. <laughs> that was a new series. So mm -hmm. it's going to get best new series of 2023. Mm. I'm not putting myself in a situation to where I have to put that in Loki in the same bracket. Clearly, I see, actually, I, see the, I see. I see. I see the parameters you're trying to set to keep no, yourself I, from having to, to pick. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> long as long as they're working. <laughs> but no, I was going to ask you like the scene where he was walking in, um, when he went to go destroy the device, and then you just see all the different timelines being destroyed. When you saw his him like switching into his Loki uniform with his horns. Like, how did you feel during that scene when it just like he's just walking through, grabbing the timelines and his horns just come out? So when he started doing, I'm like, why the fuck was he in the suit? Like, he should have been doing this the whole time. <laughs> and I thought that's what they were going to do. He was going to take it, put it in the hole. Um, and they were just going to be like, we're going to fight. Like, I thought that's what he was choosing. Like, we're going to have to fight against it. But like, the way he did it, shit, that wrapped it up. So I wonder if they have alternate or different ver like if there is a another ending. So I'll be looking out for that here soon. Like, was there multiple endings uh, when they when he when they put this together? Because uh, yeah, when he, I'm like, what the f like? You know what this made me think about? What? X Men Two when or three. They had to be two when Wolverine was walking to Jean Grey. 
and she was Phoenix, and she was like ripping him, whip, ripping him to shreds. But he the only one that can make it. Oh, that was part three. Damn, I don't, I don't remember seeing three, but okay. If that was three, and he, he if they was in the her. woods, yeah, the Phoenix was in part three because she's she killed Scott. I uh, thought that was all two. He was in three. Nah, of those three. Nah, part two was when you had um dude that made him Wolverine that had uh dark Deathstroke. Deathstroke was in two because you had Striker. Wasn't his name Striker? I thought that was X Men origin. Ain't you talking about X Men? But I'm saying like that there's a Wolverine original movie. There's an a, an original Wolverine movie, X Men Origin. But I'm talking about X two. With Jean Grey when she was the Phoenix and she was like killing motherfuckers and he had to roll up on her and kiss her and stab her in her side. That was part three. Okay. I thought that was okay. If I mean you, as long as you know shit, I don't know. No, I, trust I, me, I do. <laughs> I, I, I'm I'm just like Jason. I'm telling you, I'm correct. But yeah, that made me think of when Wolverine killed Jean Grey when he was on that uh, walking up to her that entire time because he was he could regenerate, I guess, faster um, than the rest of the people. But yeah, man, that was. I figured that little runway was gonna be more important when they um, more important when they when they showed it originally when Ob did it, like it's how they because the way they the way they shot it that original time. Like that scene from like the zoom in to how he had to walk up the thing was exactly how Loki had to go through it when he went through it. But yeah. Man, Damn. The show was, yeah, the show was dope. Like when he sat in his seat and all of those timelines just looked like a cape. It was that shot was fire. It was. It was man. So between season one and season two, which one was the best one in your opinion, Jason? I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with two. Um, I do think the two seasons they're very, very different from each other. So I'm a, I'm a definitely ride with two. Um, I think they left a lot of strands left open, so we can get so we can go into it. Um. I don't know if they can do it in a movie. They're going to do another season, but it's going to be interesting to see uh, which one you riding with. I'm going to say two as well. I definitely enjoyed this season. It was a lot of fun, and I love the character development that we got. Uh, I don't trust Miss Minutes still. I don't care how many times she get a reboot. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I the storytelling was amazing. And I love the fact that we got two great shows this year where their season twos either matched or surpassed their season one. And I'm going to say Loki season two is one of them. And the other one is Yellow Jackets, in my opinion. Because okay. we also got season two of Yellow Jackets earlier this year. <clears throat> okay. okay. I, was, I, was, I was wondering where you was going with that. But okay, I'm with it. I'm riding with it. I'm riding with it. Definitely yeah. a great, definitely a great season. Uh, ready for that to come back. Man, look, actor strike is done. We oh get, yes, we we get oh, yes. alerts now. We about to we, we getting promotion about stuff getting push. We getting promotion now. Loki and Loki, uh, Tom Hiddleston and Brie Larson from the Marvels will be uh, promoting these movies on a late night show. Oh, nice, nice. Look, let's go ahead and put our promote in. Y'all go see it. That's all I got. And check okay. out our review. <laughs> For the marbles, yes, yes. Um, quick review. Um, yes, loved it a lot. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> quick uh, review. Quick review. Yeah, a lot of fun. Um, they didn't waste any time. There's not much filler, from what I remember from the one trailer I seen. All of that is from the first twenty minutes of the movie. And I will say. I agree with everything that Jason just said, but it is a lot of fun. You are going to laugh. Yeah, that's that's. I, I think that's a good, uh, solid non-spoiler review we can drop to go ahead and push Ooh. our review for Tuesday because in the in the post credit, y'all look. It's only one. Bacon. Well, technically, it's two. I'm I'm saying look. it's two. I'm look. saying two. I'm shaking sh shoulders. 
watch that shit. <laughs> like, please Man, watch look, it at the you, theaters we and gonna, not I'm, let it get leaked. Sorry. I'm trying to. We're going to try to drop this episode soon. We're going to try to drop <laughs> this episode quick so we can let you know. If you have not seen that movie, you know the rule of a Marvel movie. That feeling is back. Get off, get off your timeline. Get off of social media. A lot of big implications come from this movie. These are the things that we've been looking for. Tiebacks. We got tiebacks. We got stories. We got it. Every, everything is there that you're needing. Um, so yeah, man. There's one thing I'm missing from that. So I'm not gonna. So I'm not. You got to go to the review to talk up get to get that. This is why yeah. we will talk about that then. But yeah. yeah, I was in there trying to write notes, but also trying to enjoy. But we are gonna let them know. Woo. I can't wait for that one. Yeah, same, same. But did you have anything else for this season two, episode six, Loki finale? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed everything. I was not expecting it to end the way that it did. It wrapped the story up very nicely because I was like, are we going to get more? But now it's like they can kind of, they can pick and choose. They didn't leave us with a cliffhanger. So I appreciate that, which is also why I don't think we're going to get a season three. But if we do, I'm not going to be mad, but I'm not expecting it. Was it good though? For sure. Most certainly. That was all the hazy. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but man um as always uh, we do appreciate y'all for listening tapping in coming chatting with us joining these conversations we enjoy them um because this is what we into but then when the stuff that we love delivers like it delivers and they 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 said the last two episodes is going to be better than the first two episodes. And goddamn, how do you come back to back and go across your head like that? That's that's how you do it. That's how you do it, man. Like writing, script, the just scene to scene, the transition. Like I, I I'm glad y'all are paying these people. Pay these writers. Pay these. Well, I don't think the director's supposed to have any issues, but uh, pay the actors. Thank you. We appreciate that. The strike is over. It's over. <laughs> we get, we get, we get, we get a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of. Twenty twenty five gonna be fire. Like, yeah. can I do a fast forward to make sure I'm still in the game? Because I don't want to <laughs> get there and be like, wait, I'm gone. Yeah, time slip. Like, wait, where she at? Here she lays. <laughs> <laughs> people listening like yo they went dark All right, bye, bye. <laughs> but no we got some projects and stuff have been moved we got some Marvel news stuff that came out the past couple of days look I think that's just all for attention I hope one could pray but I'm excited to see what we're getting from Marvel but yeah, Loki, perfect, perfection. Top five series of 2023. Is it too early to say that, Jason? I don't think so. Shit, November. What the fuck else would it come out at this point? <laughs> I mean, Invincible is here is here now. Rap shit. It started tonight or today, rather. Um. So yeah, man. I don't know. We'll see. I'm about to definitely jump into that. Uh, maybe tonight. Maybe not. Um, but yeah, man, Marvel. I'm gonna, get into that. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and turn rap shit on. I'm gonna open this this Marvel book up so I can prepare oh. for the Marvel review. Geek out. We've been geeking out all week. I love it. I love that for us. Love that for us. Love that for us, man. But, but... I'm gonna let you go ahead. Oh, me? Oh, hey guys. <laughs> Thank you. For listening and watching the Was It Good Though podcast. We appreciate y'all for tuning in always and engaging with us and sharing our content and sharing our clips. Just know that we be out here doing the whip. Album dropping next summer. 
you know I'm in a Hummer. Oh, oh my God, bars. <laughs> but no, definitely appreciate y'all. We're on our road to 500 subscribers on our YouTube. Let's see. The Marvel's review dropping. We got some lives coming through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Jason, like, is there anything you want to say to close us out? Um, Yeah, man, this month is the month of thankfulness we are giving appreciation showing appreciation um for those we are thankful for whether that be director actor um entity marvel um jazz um, on the podcast our listeners man so we are having a contest right now um within this contest you well within the contest uh, we would like you to subscribe to the podcast most of you are listening nine times out of ten you're already doing that but if you ain't subscribe right now go ahead and subscribe right now um and then just tell a friend share it with a friend have them come to the podcast have them shout you out and have them subscribe simple um of course the person with the most shout outs we're we sending you guys to the movies. We're sending you to the movies. You and somebody. You can pick. If you want to be me or Jazz, let us know. Um, if you're in the area, we, we'll come with you. We'll talk, talk through the movie with you if you need us to. We'll walk you, hold your hand, walk you through it, too. If you if you need it, I'm just saying. I'm not doing that, but I'm going to screen you for sure, though. Make sure you're not crazy. <laughs> I live in Florida. <laughs> um, but also, the person that, that comes over that shouts you out, same exact process if they have somebody that they want to put onto the podcast they can do the same exact thing they can win but again the rules of the contest subscribe share with a friend have them shout you out on our youtube any video because it all comes to us anyway we'll be able to see it and have them subscribe that's it simple boom bam boom but that's all that I had for the people, Jazz. Um, this was the most glorious, <laughs> the most glorious purpose. Episode six, Loki, season two. I'm Jason. I am Jazz. Deuces. Jazz. No, okay. trust me, I do. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just like Jason. I'm telling you, I'm correct. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing with you at all. Future, yeah. earning AACSB accredited <laughs> online MBA from. Oh AACSB my God! What is that? <laughs> what is the longest? <laughs> Yo, Look, I'm over here trying to turn it down. I done closed it. I closed it. But guess what? It went. To? It went to a, a picture in picture. I'm like, damn. Come on. <laughs> Like, don't do this to me right now. Woo. Oh, wow. That was worse than uh, Casey's. <laughs> You're going to have to edit this out, by the way. <laughs> Mark it where it's at so you know you'll find it. <laughs> Yo. So I know when I get to that point. <laughs>